How to Program Subconscious Mind 1. With repetition, repetition, Javanese people call it, can you fight Kulino because it can be because you are accustomed to it, a skill or a habit is formed because it is done. Repeatedly, an easy analogy is that if we get used to getting up in the morning we will automatically wake up in the morning, this is the old way of changing, but this is what happens in our life, we get used to the repetitions so that it becomes a subconscious habit. 2. By a figure who has authority. What is meant by an authority figure here is not a figure that likes to force, but a figure that is considered more by us, whether it is more respected, smarter, better or something else. For example, we will more easily accept advice from an usted, we also try do what parents ask, also like we obey what doctors prescribe when sick. So what is conveyed by authority figures will be easier for the subconscious mind to accept. 3. Intent emotional conditions or strong emotions A very simple example is when we fall. In love, our thoughts are very easy and focus on storing the data of our loved ones. Usually it is easier for us to remember the birth date of our loved ones than friends. Even though every day is with us, because emotions are so intent, deep our learning. Process also needs a pleasant atmosphere, so that it is easier to enter into our minds. 4. Identification The people closest to us will greatly influence the formation of our behavior, a culture and our environment will very easily become a part of our lives, the beliefs that we embrace originate from our environment, and we very easily follow the rules of a community where we join, and we it will be very easy to adjust the habits that are often carried out by our close friends, so for the convenience of the environment it greatly affects what programs are in our subconscious mind. 5. Hypnosis. This is one of the main discussions in this book, namely how we can use hypnosis to deceive, to make ourselves easy to make changes, we have already mentioned. That hypnosis is a way and art to communicate with the subconscious mind, even for therapy. How to get rid of it. Habits that are less productive in the subconscious mind, and we will study them in full here, so learning hypnosis is very important, right? To change and make life better. Thank you for watching this video. And don't forget the comments and recommendations so that this channel grows and helps you more.